The exhortation this morning is primarily directed at the children in the congregation, though I'm sure the Spirit will apply it specifically to all of us who have ears to hear. Children, when your mom and dad tell you to obey, you ought to do so quickly. Children, when your mom and dad tell you to obey, you must obey until the job is done. Children, when your mom and dad tell you to obey, you must do so cheerfully. This may sound familiar to the Logos kids as it follows the same pattern of obeying right away, all the way, and with a good attitude. But why, you children might ask. And it's a good question, so I'm giving you the answer. The one who died for you commands you to do it. He loves to see you obey, just as your, just as your parents delight when you obey them. So too our Father in heaven delights in your obedience. You need to have the eyes of faith to see his delight, though. When your mom tells you to do something, you should see your dad standing right behind her, and the Lord Jesus standing right behind him, and God the Father standing right behind Christ. And this follows the order given in 1 Corinthians 11.3, which says, But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. So, children, your parents have been put in charge of you for a little while, and it's our Father in heaven who has put them in charge of you. So when you obey them, you're really obeying God. With this obedience comes blessing and privilege, and with disobedience comes curses and privileges being taken away. In fact, in Ephesians, Paul reminds us that child obedience is directly linked to the promise of that it may go well with you and that you may live long in the land. So think of our Lord Jesus. He obeyed his earthly parents, he obeyed his heavenly Father, and he obeyed his heavenly Father perfectly unto death. And what happened? The Father raised him up and exalted him above every name. Does your obedience to your parents hurt sometimes, or is it uncomfortable? Is it a big chore for you to do the dishes or make your bed, clean your room? I assure you that even those Even even though those are uncomfortable things, you have not received the sentence of death. The thing about obedience, children, is that it gets easier the more you obey. This is because obedience brings joy and delight. And how could it not? This is a work of the Holy Spirit. So think about this today as you drive home from church. Have I been obedient to King Jesus? Am I getting better or worse at obeying my parents? If the Spirit prods you to ask for forgiveness of your parents for your repeated disobedience, then you need to do so. Children, do not harden your hearts as the Israelites did. Take this exhortation as an opportunity to make things right. Everyone in your family has now heard it, and you're all on the same page. So quick note to parents, when your child asks for forgiveness, forgive them right away, all the way, and with a good attitude.